Hey, hi, hello, welcome back to my new video. This is Sampath, you're watching Sampath SafeX YouTube channel and this is Poco F3 or the Xiaomi 11X or the Redmi K40. Let me remove this cover, I forgot to remove this cover. And if you're also forget to subscribe to this channel, hence go and subscribe to my channel, guys. And this is Octave OS. I already made a dedicated video to how to flash this ROM and how to update the Orange Fox recovery. If you haven't watched that video, I'll be giving the link in the description also in the I section. Check out that video first, how to flash this ROM. And this is Octave OS. You guys can see 5.0, the version. Maintain your name. Android version is 14 here. You get this kind of Easter egg here. If you press and hold here, you get a raining of this effect. Later, you will get a game. Uh, that's the easter egg of android 14 and november 5th 2023 is a little bit of disappointed because we are already at the end of december we are still getting november security patch and kernel user is 4.19.246 no kernel has been used baseband version also you can read and build date as i said it's the latest december 17th build and build number is this this is a typical home screen this is the quick settings panel you get in the edit section there is no sync option uh, all the toggles are working fine here, no problem. And dialer, you get simple Mio based by dialer here. You will get direct video call because I am using BSNL sim, it isn't showing here, but you will get that. And call recording feature is also there, but it will announce the other person that you are recording the call. We'll go directly into DRM information again. As you can see, it's level 1 certified. No need to worry watching high definition resolution content. Let me go into settings and change this display here. Dark the minimum maximum refresh rate tap to wake is given. High brightness mode. There is no color option mode. Yeah, it's vivid is not that good. Yeah, boosted now it will looks little bit colors were muted in the previous one. And also get you you will get this MUA gallery here as you can see. This is the gallery and this is the Geekbench scores I want to show you. Agree? Okay. Where these things have been moved? Photos? No? Yeah. Hello all. Now we can see some of the photographs. Maybe not. Yeah, we'll go to file manager here. Images. Okay, screenshots. You guys can see here 33 watt charging support is there. Charging rapidly. Full in 39 minutes. 75% which is quite good which is very much required in my opinion and this is the antidote benchmark results you can see 8 lakhs 17 is the score and 6.2 degree celsius is temperature raise and four percentage of battery has been dropped during this testing of antidote benchmark and this is the and sorry cpu throttling test for 15 minutes and this is the 100 test guess maximum 316 average 270 minimum 183 million jps and it's total to 72 percent of its max performance after running this for 15 minutes i got this score and the geekbench score again 1127 is the single score and 3098 is a multi-score and you guys can say 140 and links 4.19.246 no kernel has been used in this particular row this is how the scores and camera again you get proper mui camera as you can see like a integrated you will get 10x zoom here but recommended to use up to 2x only and into settings you get plenty of options here and in the video again you get 4k 60 support is there in this particular ROM and safety net status again you get here everything get passed you need to use all the payment applications and all then it will be fine no need to worry regarding that uh, that's it i think so we'll move into bgma how it handle that's the main thing i really liked in this particular rom let's see what all the graphics settings and how it handle in this particular rom as you can see guys the graphics settings let us move plus extreme only there is option to increase high fps count but still we are getting only 60 fps only let's see how it handles actually in this particular round yeah, it was a close call 
and by the way if you first time to this channel hit that subscribe button guys and also allow the bell icon that is in the bell icon and if you like the video give it a like guys and this is the volume panel you get the gameplay huh? i really like the smoothness in the ui and also the gameplay since this is the best gaming rom i can say the battle life is also very very good here and you also get this wiper fx kind of thing or uh, in order to tweak the audio you'll get these kind of options here mm, and pre-installed gallery as i said before and also you get a pre-installed me video here no need to install any third party video player in order to get that you can just use this and this is a recent app so as you can see ram management is also very good in this particular room but don't expect a kind of great or anything but it's simple and better in terms of optimization they have done very well after a long time we are seeing this particular room for any of the smartphones here but it's good and here comes the changes of Android 14 as you can see this is the only change we can see you can adjust the size and intensity and even color type also that's the only change we can see visually in android 14 compared to android 13 and these are the sound settings you get they rank sound center both these options cannot be enabled or what yeah maybe because of uh, this one dolby atmos is it there no dolby atmos is missing in this particular room i think in the upcoming build they should add that and enter system into the gestures again navigation mode gesture navigation there is no option to increase the gesture bar length and radius but anyhow it's fine in my opinion but they should add in the upcoming bills again security features again fingerprint unlock let me show that as you can see it's quite fast yeah sometimes it's not going to register properly yeah there is a problem in this particular ROM. Actually, I haven't added a yeah, fingerprint. I have added. Maybe it is press like that. No. We'll check that. This is going to be a little bit problem, guys, in any of the custom ROM. Unlock your phone. Verify it's even fingerprint. Watch unlock available Bluetooth. Fingerprint has been added, but just to unlock anytime. But it is not getting unlocked. Yeah, now it's getting unlocked again there is a problem only once it's getting unlocked that's the bug i can say as you can see still we are not getting it get unlocked here uh, that's the bug a minor bug can be fixed in some of the updates but this how it is this is the october is 5.04 me lanix of the admin k40 of the poco f3 this is my review on this particular wrong guys also watch out the flashing method video and how to update the custom recovery for this same particular device guess we'll meet you with another interesting video until that keeps smiling bye bye for now